It's holiday season, which means a lot of friends and family and food. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a really clean, healthy, simple muffin recipe with only eight ingredients. So today's recipe is all about something that's gonna be simple, easy, but also really yummy and festive for the holidays. Or on the holidays or when I'm with family, I like to enjoy and indulge sometimes. I don't want to deprive myself of those moments because I feel like food is almost just a part of tradition and culture and it's something you do together with the people you love. So you don't wanna have to be miserable on the holidays and not eat anything because it's unhealthy, but adding in things like this will just make you feel better because on the same token, when you just go all in on the things that you know don't necessarily serve your body well and don't make you feel the best, you just wake up feeling bad. Like I hate that feeling when I just feel bloated and unhealthy and just not my best. So this is a perfect medium for that and every ingredient is so clean. It's packed with fiber, it's gluten-free, organic, which we'll get into why I really recommend this being organic and also really fast because you can just pop these in the oven and if you have like a lot of kids around, a lot of family or friends around, there's just something you can have on hand that really aren't that much fuss, so I love that. I also love that they can be used for breakfast or a midday snack or a cookie, like whatever you please. For me personally, there's something about like a breakfast muffin, like ask any of my friends, I just love a muffin. Whatever it is in muffin form, I think it tastes better. So I'm gonna make anything healthy into a muffin. Muffin or pancake, but right now we're sticking with muffins. Here are the eight ingredients we're using. We've got organic oats, applesauce, almond milk, cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice, black seed, baking powder, apples, and honey. So I just wanna get into the oatmeal for a second because I did mention that this is really important to get organic. Now, I know buying organic isn't always easy, attainable. Sometimes there aren't the options, it's also more expensive. Some things I really, really just recommend sticking to organic. And with oatmeal specifically, the organic is not that much more expensive than regular, especially if you're buying it in bulk and if this is something you use a lot, I'm gonna pop up the price difference here. But oats in general, the crops are sprayed heavily with pesticides and it's just one of those things, let's say you're buying fruit that's not organic and you can really wash it and soak it in vinegar and do our best. It's not really that easy to soak your oats in vinegar or like do a fruit and vegetable wash. So I would recommend sticking to organic when you can. If you can't find it, that's okay. You don't need to be perfect, but definitely try your best there. I do get a lot of comments asking why I'm so bloated and sometimes even if I'm pregnant, and just to clarify, I'm not pregnant, it's just bloat, but I have been learning a lot of things about what can prevent or reduce bloating. So here's one tip for you. If you're going to be using any kind of plant-based milk for recipes, for your coffee, for your tea, try to avoid cashew milk because cashews are a little harder to digest versus like almond milk or coconut milk or tiger nut milk is actually one of the best ones. So if I'm just chilling at home, I'm gonna enjoy my cashew milk and not worry about being bloated. But if I'm going out to an event and I don't wanna look bloated in a tight dress, then I might just avoid it. All right, let's get into making the recipe. This is really simple. So we're just gonna combine the wet ingredients and then combine the dry ingredients. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add the almond milk applesauce, and the honey. So you can use any liquid sweetener you want. If you wanna make this vegan, you could use maple syrup or coconut nectar. I really like honey for the health benefits, for the antibacterial properties. I'm actually, I've shared this, if you haven't watched my video on why I'm not vegan anymore, I will link it below too to explain why I'm not, but I'm, I've been on a really interesting elimination diet where I'm just pretty limited and honey is actually one of the things that's on my list. So I'm grabbing at it because I love it and it's really healing for the gut. So normally like I love coconut nectar too, but I'm really embracing honey right now because it's serving me well. So I'm just gonna mix these. Also, if you are going to use honey, I would make sure you get raw honey to make sure you're getting the most amount of nutrients. I just have this thing where if I'm eating healthy and making a healthy recipe, I wanna get the health benefits. Like why am I putting in the work? And it's always like a little bit of a sacrifice. I wouldn't say huge, but like, you know, you are subbing in healthier ingredients and trying to make it better for you. And like, why am I gonna put in that work and then not get the most out of it? So that's my objective there. Okay, now we're going to add in everything else. It's really simple. Add in the apples. 
I'm using pink lady apples because they just have like a really good sweetness to them. So I think they're, they're my favorite, but you can use any apples you want. These are the rolled oats. Make sure you also get oats that say gluten-free. For the most part they are, but sometimes, I don't know if it's handled in a facility that's not. I know not all of them are gluten-free, but just, I would recommend finding that. Your cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice. And then the flax. I love that the flax is going in here because we're getting so much fiber, omegas. Omegas are so good for your skin, those healthy fats. So let's just add that right in there. Baking powder. And that is it. So now I'm gonna mix this up. This is also a pretty like mess-free recipe you could do with like your kids, your little cousins, siblings, when you don't wanna make like a huge mess in the kitchen but want to involve them in something to keep them busy and entertained. Don't mind my spillage. As I say mess-free and I'm spilling. If you know me, you know that 60% of my clothes is stained with food. I don't know what it is, there's just always spill. Erica's dog is here, if you hear a little bell, or I don't know, something. I love that Belle has a bell. <laughs> okay, oh my God, this smells like heaven. I'm just throwing that out there. I don't know if anyone's into like the doshas with Ayurveda, with, like your, you could be vata, pitta, or you know what, I'm gonna pop the other one up here because I don't know, but I know that I'm Vata. And then even Iranian traditional medicine, I know the category I fall into. Basically, my birth chart, all of it says that I love cozy, warm things. Like they're all spot on. If you give me like a cinnamony, apple, pumpkin-y anything and a blanket and like a latte, I need nothing else in life. So that's what this is giving right now and it just smells amazing. <laughs> Erica, should these apples have been chopped like really small? Are they supposed to be chunky? No, they're supposed to be like. Cause they seem like really big to go in the muffin pan, but they're supposed to be big chunks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna, I'm just gonna spray the pan. The two oils I'd recommend using for the pan are either avocado oil or coconut oil because they do have a high smoke point. So you don't have to worry about, you know, getting any toxins while it cooks at high temperature. I actually took out the avocado oil, but I'm gonna get the coconut oil because I like that taste that it gives. It just gives off that like, I think coconut goes really well with this. And one more thing I wanna recommend, when you get these sprays, for the most part, you have to make sure there's not propellants and other things added in them. This one specifically is a great brand because it's literally just avocado oil. No chemicals, no propellants, no preservatives. So make sure you look for that because you just wanna think about things you're using every day and what you're consuming. If it's once in a while, we're not trying to be perfectionists here, but when this is like in your pantry and it's a staple, especially around the holidays, you don't need propellants in your food. So just something to watch out for. Let me get my coconut oil. And when you're buying coconut oil, I'd recommend getting virgin or unrefined just to make sure that it's not as processed. Okay. Also, I don't know where you stand on what kind of macros you're eating, what kind of diet you follow, but Right now, there's just so much research to show how good healthy fats are for you. So I feel like even when I'm greasing these muffin pans with coconut oil, I'm just being a little more generous because I'm not mad at coconut oil being in this recipe. And I like using a brush. It makes you feel super profesh too when you're cooking. I like the word profesh. Profesh. <laughs> I'm a profesh chef. You could also make this into a bake if you want and then just slice them into little bars. I just like muffins. But if you don't have a muffin pan, you could totally make this into a bake. All right, and then just scoop it in. All right, now we're gonna put them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes and that's it. Here is the final result. These look so good, so cute. The house smells amazing. My house is actually really busy right now and every person that walks in is like, it smells like the holidays in here. So I'm gonna take a little bite. <laughs> mm. Love taking a bite on camera. It's not awkward at all, but <laughs> these are so good. And honestly, what I love is you can taste every ingredient. Like I taste fresh apples, I taste applesauce. 
The oats obviously have a really light taste, but that's what I love about using whole foods and simple ingredients when you're cooking. You can actually get all the flavors and this is really good. So I really hope you guys try this. Also, you could make them in batch, put them in the freezer and then just take them out. I just like having things ready to go and instead of grabbing a bar on your way out the door or a protein bar and something that's processed and probably has a few ingredients you wish weren't in there, just make your own. Instead of muffins, put it into a baking pan and cut them into bars, it's really easy. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions on the recipe or you know any thoughts or comments, leave it below. Also, I was thinking as I was doing this recipe, if you guys want me to share how to make your own applesauce, because I know applesauce is part of this recipe, let me know in the comments. <laughs>